Well, right now, thousands of Hoosiers are struggling with addiction, and this pandemic sure isn't helping, Phil. Yeah, but there are some rays of hope. News 8's David Williams explains how technology is playing a crucial role. Brandon George knows exactly how it feels to battle through the coronavirus pandemic while simultaneously fighting addiction. He's in recovery himself. It's been a struggle overall. Roughly 500,000 Hoosiers rely on in-person meetings and connections to help keep them on the road to recovery. During this time, it's much, much harder to be connected. And so it presents tremendous roadblocks for people that are both in recovery to stay connected and especially those trying to access care. Since we're under a statewide stay-at-home order, George says some 500 in-person 12-step meetings a week have stopped in greater Indianapolis. Now, many faith-based groups and independent organizations have to depend on virtual help. There are now daily virtual recovery gatherings for Hoosiers in need. And the benefits of actually switching over to Zoom type of meetings is that they're accessible wherever you are. In March, the federal government decided to allow patients to get prescriptions for medicine that helps curb withdrawal symptoms via virtual doctor's visits instead of in person. I think that everybody can appreciate we need access to life-saving medication. And that's exactly what this is. Even with easier access, it's still a challenge. George says he recently talked with a community mental health center that didn't yet know of the policy change. I said, hey, are you are you prescribing buprenorphine via telemedicine now? And they said, uh, no, you have to have the in-person visit. I said, no, it's our lucky day. You know, it changed. In the meantime, George hopes Hoosiers in recovery who don't have access to phones, iPads, or a Wi-Fi connection are not left out. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction and needs help, I will post useful information to connect you to care tonight on our website. In downtown Indianapolis, I'm David Williams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.